Hey guys, Jason Cipriani here, a CNET How To contributor, and today we're going to take a look at how to set up and use the new Beam feature in iPhoto for iOS. iPhoto was just announced yesterday in the Apple keynote revealing the new iPad as well as the new Apple TV, and this Beam feature is pretty neat. Uh, so, what we're going to do is when you first install and launch iPhoto, you'll notice that wireless beaming is automatically turned on. If for some reason it's not, or you've gone in and turned it off, make sure you tap on the gear and turn on wireless beaming. Also, you'll need to make sure that all the iOS devices you're going to be sharing photos between are located or connected to the same wireless network. So once we have all that set up, what you'll do is go in and view any album. So here we have Photo Stream. Um, and let's pull up just a random photo here. And what I can do here to beam it over to the iPhone, which I have iPhoto running on already, is tap on the share key, then beam. You'll notice it says selected or all, um, and all is actually grayed out, so I wouldn't be able to send all 263 photos, but I can send the one selected. It found my device right away, and again, that's because I've I have iPhoto already running on the iPhone. I'll go ahead and select it that that's the device I want to send it to and then beam photos. Now you'll see I have a dialog over here to either accept or reject the transfer request. I, go, I trust the iPad so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And in a matter of a couple seconds you'll see that the photo has been beamed from the iPad to my iPhone. And to verify that there's a new beamed album here uh, in the iPhoto albums list that I could tap on. and. You can view the thumbnails and scroll over. And there's the photo. I just beamed it from my iPad to my iPhone. Once again, that's how to set up and use Beam uh, in iPhoto for iOS. Make sure to join us at howto.cnet.com for more great tech tips.